everyone welcome to Eden's Secret today we're making some wax melts so I've got some more tips for you um, we're making a Disney inspired Mad Hatter's tea party and this fragrance is from Enchanted Oils from Stansfield's fragrance oils we're doing the Lush dupe called Furs which is just the same name as the Lush version Something interesting I want to show you, um, I get a lot of people asking me about wax sticking in the, in the moulds. Now I often suggest to put some paraffin wax in there so try adding 10% um, paraffin wax into your soy wax or you could go with 20%, 25%, whatever suits you. And the paraffin wax I've got is Kerax 422. Now, it is a nice shiny wax. I don't know if you can see it sort of glittering already in there. It's beautiful. So it'll give you a bit of extra shine on your um, Eco Soy Melt. So the other interesting thing I wanted to show you, I've got Eco Soy Melt here. This one is from Scents, Soaps and Candles. And I've got Eco Soy Melt here from, I can't even remember where I bought that. So what I really want to show you is, the pellets are actually a different size. And why do I find this interesting? Well. Um, I presume there's one um, manufacturer that manufactures the Eco Soy Melt in the UK and so all the Eco Soy Melt we get probably comes from the same factory but I'm thinking that might not be the case because if you look closely Now I always put the paraffin wax in first on the bottom, why? Because it actually takes longer to melt than the soy wax does. You'll see the grains are different. These ones are bigger and flatter and a little bit um, lighter in colour. And then these ones are half the size and they're more of a creamy, creamy colour. So I just found that really interesting and I was a bit worried when I bought it whoops I'm gonna put the same in the same container I was a bit worried when I bought it and these larger pellets came I was thinking oh this is an eco soy melt but it actually is it performs exactly the same so I mean it could just be that they've got a few machines making these pellets and some of them make the smaller pellets and some of them make the larger pellets so it probably doesn't matter where you buy the eco soy melt from it's always going to perform the same right so the next thing I just want to go over again is the silicon molds I must get a message a few messages every week about how to get all of the wax out of the silicon mold there's always going to be some wax left over in the silicon mold these uh, the best way to wash them I think is in the dishwasher uh, first I soak them in hot soapy water in the sink and then I scrub them with a bottle brush and then I put them upside down in the dishwasher like this and that seems to clean them up pretty well but the silicon does absorb some of the wax uh, so they're never going to look pristine but of course if they've been in the washer in the dishwasher they are clean and they are sanitized so don't worry too much about it if you've got any extra bits of wax stuck in the corners 
just get a toothpick or something and you can pick it out that way just remember before you use them for your next bag just always warm them up i actually warm mine up for a minute and a half in the microwave uh, so they're nice and warm then i sprinkle the glitter on if i've got uh, if i'm doing any drizzle then i'll sprinkle the drizzle on and then i'll pour the wax over that one other little tip is when you put drizzle on with the pipette you need to pour the other wax on top of it straight away because it does set very very quickly especially if you put some paraffin wax in there it'll set up faster than it would just as soy but as a rule uh, candle wax does set really fast anyway um, so they are my tips for now if you do the drizzle and it has been left in there say five minutes before you pour the the main coloured wax over the top just run a heat gun over the top of your drizzle and that will just melt the outside of the drizzle a little bit so that when you pour the rest of the wax on they're both going to stick together some of you uh, the drizzle is just staying stuck in the silicon mold when you unmold the wax i haven't had that issue uh, but i know that that is the way to fix it all right so we'll we'll look more into that as we make these lovely disney inspired and lush inspired wax melts today So this is now going on a ring on a very on the lowest heat possible to melt and once it's melted we'll be back to pour some wax melt okay so let's lay out the silicon molds and they've been in the microwave for a minute and a half as you can see I've got six of them nice and warm lovely and warm so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to make up some gold drizzle and then the main color of these wax melts because these are the first wax melts like the perfume that Lush sell basically it's a gold liquid uh, with a black label so I'm actually going to do a gold drizzle with a black background my glass jug's been in the microwave as well for one minute um, again I know I've said this a million times but I just always think of the odd person that might come on that hasn't seen my videos before the reason I warm the jug up is so that when you pour in warm wax into a warm jug it doesn't solidify on the outside if you pour warm wax into a cold jug it solidifies around the outside and we don't want that so we're just going to pour a little bit of the wax into there not too much we're going to take a lovely whisk i got from amazon I don't think I'm going to bother with any glitter for these either so I'm taking some bright gold mica just half a teaspoonful probably two tablespoonfuls of melted wax in here just give that a stir in until you can see that all of the mica is dissolved now we need a pipette and we're just going to squeeze the pipette, let go and that sucks the wax up into the pipette. And then we're just going to drizzle that gold drizzle into each compartment. Looks really nice doesn't it? And that will look absolutely gorgeous against the black.
Okay, just checking the temperature. We're at 69 degrees Celsius. We're going to add some luscious black mica in there, quite a lot because I do want them to be black. And I'm going to add the fragrance in at the same time. And give that a stir in. Mm, I do like that smell. Right, check the temperature again. I bet it's nearly ready to pour. 61 degrees Celsius. So uh, before we pour, we just need to run over our wax. Like so. It's already set, you see, that gold, gold wax there. Sets really fast. Don't need to melt it too much, all you want to do is just warm the top of it up so that that black wax sticks to this wax. Right, so let's pour. Looks like magic. And I'm short pouring these because these will just go for samples. Right, that's the pour done for the furs. Now let's start working on the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Okay, so we could do a lot more colours, but I'm going to do pink and yellow drizzle. And I'm going to do a black, uh, not black, a lovely blue background, uh, the colour of Alice's dress. So we're just putting a bit of neon yellow in there. And a little bit of neon pink. if you if you did a lot of different colored dots it would just resemble a table wouldn't it with lots of goodies on there And 
not squeezing too hard on the pipette and that's why we're getting lot, lots of little drops instead of strings. Same with the pink. Now, I'd say this does need some glitter because this is Disney inspired. And it's got to be magical, hasn't it? As you're watching, what is your favourite Disney song? And I have to say, I think mine is When You Wish Upon A Star. And the first parade I ever saw at Disney was uh, called Remember The Magic. So that's always my favourite parade as well. Time to remember the magic. I did love the last one, Happily Ever After. I thought that was fabulous. I haven't seen the new one. I think we'll go with this one, which is a bit like purple, purples and greens. I'm not putting loads in because there's already quite a lot of glit of drizzle, so you're not going to see that much of it. There we are. They're starting to look very Disney-esque. Okay, so we've gone with Neptune Blue as the colour from the Soap Kitchen. So I wanted to tell you about the Fantasia uh, Mica from You Make It Up. It actually fades in cold process. Which is very disappointing. So we're still a little bit hot there, so I'm just going to wait for those that to cool down somewhat. Right, let's pour. So this definitely has a Mad Hatter's Tea Party uh, smell to it. Lots of vanilla going on. Very yummy, very cakey, very doughnutty, very cupcake, very buttercream frosting. Okay, it's time to unmould. So these short paws here, they're just for the samples. They're a little bit harder to get out in one piece because they are shallow and they usually, well, often snap actually in the silicon liner. Oof, that looks good, doesn't it? Actually, very, very strong. Very different. Quite striking actually. Look really good on a photo. Right, let's see if we can get these sample sizes out in one piece. That one came out okay. And just remember if you haven't seen any recent uh, wax melt videos of mine, um, I'm unmolding the day after. I'm not speeding up the process by putting them in the freezer or the fridge or anything like that. They seem to one mould much, much better if you just allow them to set up naturally. 
and it is quite a warm room this I would say it's at least 80 degrees in here so they will set up slower than they would in a room that was a lot cooler I don't know if that makes any difference but I know that uh, they definitely unmold much neater and better if you don't put them in the fridge or the freezer definitely they solidify properly see that gorgeous shine you get beautiful and the black looks really cool when you put them in the oil burner as well so you see every one I unmolded there there's nothing left in the in each compartment no wax left in there at all but we do have a bit here if I'd been more careful, I probably wouldn't have had any left over in those compartments. Right, now time to unmould. Actually, we'll unmould a full sized one first. And these are the Disney ones. I'm excited to turn this over, actually. Oh! How pretty! So what I'll do now with these is I'll go around each one of the wax melts and I'll scrape all the excess wax off with the, you know, wooden cuticle pushers. And then I'll soak them in hot soapy water in the sink and then they'll go in the dishwasher. Now when they're in the sink with the hot soapy water, I just use a bottle brush and I push them up like this, I get the bottle brush and then I just wash them and brush and scrub them like this across every single uh, compartment. Pretty cool, eh? They look absolutely awesome. And they smell good too. So if you want to water them, just pop over to my website. Link is in the description box below the video. And now let's have a look at the um, Mad Hatter's Tea Party. There we go, a lot of colour. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, especially share if you can. I think sharing might be the best way to help me grow my channel. Um, just thank you for doing everything you can to help me grow. And I'll see you all for another video very, very soon. Bye bye for now.